I'm in the delivery page in DaVinci Resolve and under audio, they've added a new feature, this audio normalization. What this is, is this allows you to select audio levels for different platforms. So for example, let's say you're exporting your video to YouTube. When you check audio normalization, it will set it. Jumping into the edit page, you can, of course, right click normalize audio levels and you're gonna get all the same options here as well and do this while you're editing it. If you want a brief description, if you want more detailed, well, you know, search the internet. So let's look at a couple of these. This one, the 770 and one and four, these are global standards for broadcast loudness. You know, the one is kind of the first version, the fourth is the fourth version. So these are really kind of your general options for global broadcast standards. ATSC 85, this is generally used in broadcast television for commercials. So if you've ever been watching television and you find that the commercials are louder than the TV show that you're watching, this is why, because they're using this for commercials and using something else for the show. EBUR 28 is generally used for music. So this is going to give you a bit narrower of a loudness range. OP59, that's a Australian standard. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Generally used in Australia. B32 is a Japanese standard. AGCOM is generally for Italian broadcast television. Netflix, just you know what that's for. YouTube, you know what that's for. Sample Peak and True Peak is really setting your output levels so that they're not clipping too much. So that's really saying with your levels, let's jump into the Fairlight tab and that's gonna be basically setting what your peaks are. So in this case, you don't want it to clip by getting up too loud. You want it to stay into kind of a nice, uh, it would normally be to where like on this, you would want it to be within that kind of minus five to minus 10. Uh, that's why that true peak option has the minus nine. And then if you want it to get a bit louder, that's where you go with the other option. Again, all of these have, I'm sure, numerous communities online explaining them into extreme detail, but that's just kind of a quick little high level when setting these options now, if you know where you're gonna be setting, where you're going to be exporting your video to, you can now, you can now select this at the render stage.